Hey guys, what's up? It is Preach as always. So as you can see in the background, the gameplay that we're going to be showing for today's video is going to be from Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War that came out in 2020 uh, in the fall and we played it through this last year. And the question that I want to address and hopefully answer for you guys today is, is it worth it to still be playing Call of Duty Cold War in 2022? So is it worth it to play last year's title or should we just ditch it and stick with Vanguard? And I'm going to give you reasons why, in my opinion, for me personally, I think that keeping Black Ops Cold War installed on your gaming system, whether that be a PC, an Xbox, a PlayStation, whatever you're playing on, is worth it in 2022. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this. The first thing is there are so many bugs going on in Vanguard right now, okay? And at this point, Cold War is a year old game that has gone through update after update after update and it's just in a lot more polished state right now than Vanguard is in. Cold War is in a much better state as far as the bugs go. There are way less of them than Vanguard has. For example, there are times I still can't mantle in Vanguard. I do believe with the update that we got yesterday, you are officially now able to unlock the atomic camo. So there is that if you're going for that grind, but all of the camos are already available to be unlocked. All of the weapons, all of the DLC is there. So all of the maps are there and the maps aren't near as buggy as Vanguard maps. But here's where we're going to get into some of the bias from my point of view, probably as someone who has always been a fan of the Treyarch titles. So obviously Black Ops Cold War uh, being in the Black Ops series was made by Treyarch. And something Treyarch is very good about is most of the maps have that traditional three lane design. So like right now we're on Garrison. There is this lane to my right over here, the middle lane where I'm kind of hanging out right now. And then the path over there on the left, that's actually to my, well, now back to my left over here where I just looked at my teammate. There's three lanes you can go down and then pretty consistent spawn areas for both teams. And what that does, what the three lane map system does is A, it is better for competitive Call of Duty. And B, what the biggest thing in pubs is it makes you have to be aware of way less areas. You know, there's, there's three general areas people can come from. Now there's occasional, you know, elevation changes. There's occasional cut throughs between each lane where you can get from the right lane to the middle lane. But if you know where those are, you know what to check. And it the map cuts off different parts of the map. So you know what you need to be able to be aware of. And it's a lot easier to be aware of what's going on around you when you're playing a three lane style map. And that is a better situation for most players because it's, it's less chance to get caught off guard and more chance to use your gun skill. Um, it also makes flank routes actually work better if you're somebody who wants to catch the enemy team off guard. It's not going to catch you off guard by, you know, the spawn system. It's not going to surprise you by the spawn system like, oh no, this guy just spawned middle of the map right behind me. You're not really going to have that. It's very consistent spawns in Treyarch games, and Cold War had those traditional style spawns. To whereas Vanguard has this squad spawning system that, you know, if you have teammates right in the middle of the map, they could be under fire, but because they're there, it'll spawn you right there with them, and you can just spawn in being under fire, and it's not because the enemy did a good job of trapping you in the spawn. It's just because the enemy got lucky and it spawned you there. Occasionally, it'll spawn someone in front of you, and I'm sure you've all experienced this. So the spawns and the map design in the Treyarch game are just significantly better. Um, because this game is only a year old, there's nothing graphically hindering this game. It's a good-looking game. It's not being held back in the appearance department. Now, you might say you find maybe some maps prettier on Vanguard 
but not necessarily better graphics. That could just be the design of whatever's prettier. And I'll give you an example. Castle, appearance-wise, aesthetically, Castle and Vanguard is one of the best-looking maps I've ever seen, appearance-wise. But it plays absolutely terrible. It's one of my least favorite maps that I have ever played. So, you know, generally the map design in this is so much better. It's also got a lot of the nostalgic maps in the game. Now, they have tried to recreate some into Vanguard, but by the time they add doors, windows, and destructible walls, and all of that stuff that is taking place in Vanguard, it really takes away the core of what these great maps used to be, like when they put Dome in from World at War, or then Dome from MW3 that they, I believe they are calling Radar in Vanguard. You know, they made changes to it that kind of make it to where it doesn't play the same as it used to. But as you can see, I'm on standoff right now where we're at in the video for Black Ops Cold War. That's a BO2 map, one of the greatest maps ever made. And for you nostalgia lovers out there, they threw a lot of these old maps in that aren't just good maps because we're nostalgic about them. This is just genuinely a good map. It plays good in the essence of Call of Duty. The other thing that I want to point out, if you watch my channel, you probably enjoy sniping. And sniping in Cold War is just a lot better than it is in Vanguard. Because the time to kill is not so absurdly fast in Cold War like it is in Vanguard. You actually have time to scope in and try to take a shot. Now, you can't be slow. You can't be a bum sniper. But you don't have to be as crazy cracked to hit clips in this game as you do in Vanguard as far as the time to kill goes. But, and I still think this is also better for sniping, the kill feed in Vanguard is a significantly faster kill feed. So if you're going to get a quad feed or a five on in Vanguard, or in Cold War, you are going to have to get those kills really, really, really quick. You know, it's going to have to go kill, bolt, kill, bolt, kill, bolt, kill, bolt, really, really, really fast to be able to get a quad feed. It's not as slow like it is in Vanguard. You can get a kill, run 10 feet, get another kill, run 15 feet, get another kill, crouch, stand up back behind the cover, get another kill, take all that time, and all four of those are still going to be in the kill feed in Vanguard. So while you get easier you know, quad feeds, five ons in Vanguard because of things like that, it doesn't look as good. So you get a quad feed and you're like, oh, cool. You look over at the kill feed, man, I had four in a row right there. But then you watch the video back and it might not even look like a very good clip. So that to me is a downside to Vanguard from the sniping angle. The other part of it is just this. Treyarch is still doing some updates. You still get to because of the way they do the system now across modern warfare cold war and vanguard if you are trying to level up your battle pass it doesn't matter which game you play you still earn xp and progress towards the current battle pass so you can go to this game and not have to worry about losing out on your battle pass credits and things like that to be able to play cold war and to me that is an awesome awesome feature that I'm happy they have kept in the game, but I'm quite surprised they have, to be honest. I would have thought they would have taken that out to try to promote us playing the newer game, but they have not, and they're letting us still earn Battle Pass XP and rank XP by playing the old games because the seasons run together. So that's something I've been glad to see in Vanguard, Modern Warfare, and Cold War together. It's just that ability to rank up together. And then the last thing that I want to talk about in general is just to me, this game feels better. You don't have the bad hit registration issues here to the level that you do in Vanguard. You're There's so many times in Vanguard where I shoot a bullet, I even go back and watch the replay and I am directly on the person that I'm shooting for sure and nothing happens, not even a hit marker. And that can be really, really irritating. But in my opinion, to sum it all up, I think if you liked this game at all last year, it is worth going back and playing this year. It's still a really fun game. SBMM heard it. And the last thing is, in these last couple seconds, I think 
SBMM is not as big of a factor now. I don't know if that's because they actively nerfed it or what, but it's not as big of a factor. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Reach out.